Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that the graph shows the relationship between the number of shares of stock from company A, X, and the number of shares of company B, Y, that Simone can purchase. We're asked which equation could represent the relationship. So we're given this line here, and we are going to need to pairing it to one of these equations. Now you can take two points or take a point in the slope and use that to find the equation. But I think the easier way is to pick a point. Picking one of the intercepts is usually pretty easy. In this case, we have the point 0, 040. And we're going to plug this in to our given equations to see which of them lines up the most. We might have two that it fits for, but in that case, you just pick another point. So in this case, x is 0 and y is 40. So plugging this into a, we get 40 is equal to 8 times 0 plus 12. Again, we're plugging in 40 for y and 0 for x. 8 times 0 is just 0, so this just disappears, and we get 40 is equal to 12. Therefore, we know it's not a. For b, 8x plus 12y is equal to 480. This gives us 8 times 0 plus 12 times 40 is equal to 480. Again, the zero term just cancels. 12 times 40 is 480, which is equal to 480. So, so far, B is good. For C, Y is equal to 12X plus eight. This gives us 40 is equal to 12 times zero plus eight. The zero disappears, and we're left with 40 is equal to eight. Therefore, we know it's not C. And finally, D, 12X plus eight Y is equal to 480. 12 times 0 plus 8 times 40 is equal to 480. Just write it over here so it doesn't fall off the screen. The 0 term disappears, just like with all the others. 8 times 40 is 320, which is not, of course, equal to 480. Therefore, it is not D. B is the only one of these lines that goes through the point that we picked. Therefore, it must be B.